Hi, I'm Linda, and we're going to show you how to make a magnolia flower out of calico scallops. These are shells we've picked up on the beach at Sanibel, and they're very common. They're everywhere. Um, this bucket over here shows you what you, they look like when we bring them in, and you can find them that are pink and white, and even some that have a little bit orange on them. We will clean them up. Put them in a light bleach solution and then dry them all out. And the first thing you have to do um, is find, you have to count out five that are about the same size and shape. Coloring doesn't really matter because you're not going to be able to see the coloring, but you need them that are very close to the same size. Then you need four more that are a little smaller. Now we have our hot glue gun here and also, we have a center, which is a little uh, cone from what is called a beach pine, and you can find them all over the place along the edges of the beaches at Sanibel and down in Florida. So, we're going to start with um, a piece of paper that is the backing from like a welcome label, an address label. Um, yeah, there you go. It's uh, Avery. And it's on the slippery side, you can work on it and peel what you're working with right off so it doesn't stick. So we're going to start with our hot glue gun and we need to put a spot of glue. Yeah, well. That is about the size of a dime, I would say. Maybe a little bigger. Yeah, it's more like a nickel. Okay, then we immediately start putting our bigger shells in a circle, overlapping them. Okay, all five. One, and the last one, you have to tuck it in behind its next one. And then you just sit here and hold them. You see how the glue is kind of oozing up in the middle. You sit and hold them kind of at equal distances from one another cupped up a little bit and then when they're getting pretty tight the glue cools quickly but before it's totally cool you can go ahead and stick these in or you can let it cool and start with another blob of glue in the middle but it makes it less messy if you can use the same glue and not have to same thing here you tuck it in underneath there you go and I'm just gonna sit and hold it here for a minute you want to try to make all the square ends up. Then I'm just going to put a little more down in there, a little fresh glue. And plop our little cone down in there. There you go. And in a minute or two, it'll be cool enough. Just peel it off and it's done.